Hey there, and first off, thank you, Michael Pro, for the uh, heads up on the Zavi sale that's going on. I'm not sure if it's over right now, but I'm just getting into some inbox stuff that I missed around on the way. Unfortunately, right now, I can't avail of the sale because I'm trying to save every cent for the Ottawa trip I got coming up next month. Oh, please work out the Ottawa trip. Anyway, this is a top 10 list, and uh, it's inspired by Lola's Basement's uh, top 10 TV list, and uh, definitely go check that out. Now this, I couldn't break it up into just like 10 TV shows, so what I had to do, I went for two, 10 UK TV shows, and I'll do like a follow-up video of this with uh, North American TV shows, but top 10 list of UK TV shows, let's get started. Number 10, these are all great shows by the way, and I gotta preface this by saying, the only shows included in included are ones that are in my own collection. Uh, great shows that I love like The Couplings, Two Ronnies, Benny Hill, I don't have any of those so none of those can be uh, on the list because I can't take them out and show them to you. Only things I can actually show you that I actually have in my collection are included on the list. Number 10, The Office. Finally managed to get the special edition of The Office. Love this because this is has the whole series, the, the special and of course the uh, Comedy Connections because I'm a huge fan of the show Comedy Connections. Uh, has a comic connection for the office on here. Love it. Number 10, very funny show. Ricky Gervais, Martin Freeman, great show. Number 9 is The Persuaders, a fantastic series. I'm a Robert Baker. Uh, two millionaires get uh, cut up in like solving crimes. We got uh, Roger Moore, Tony Curtis. Uh, originally, there was a uh, this started out as kind of like a uh, it was a backdoor pilot during the Saint, where the Saint meets up with uh, another uh, kind of a Texas American guy that he doesn't really get along with, and it was pretty much was kind of like the testing board for this show. Of course, Roger Moore is not playing the Saint; he's playing a different character here. Roger Moore is little Brett Sinclair, and Tony Curtis is Danny Wilde. I think Danny Wilde, yeah. Uh, two very different characters that are kind of antagonistic towards each other but get along well and solve mysteries and try and take girls from each other. Number eight is another Ricky Gervais show, one that I like even more than The Office, and uh, that is Extras. And I remember having a an enormous crush on this actress right here from the show Extras. Extras is such a fantastic show. Stephen Merchant, of course, is in, actually in this as his agent who is hilarious and uh there's a great eastenders joke that goes through it in the series uh that you got you got to see it to understand it but yeah ashley jensen i was totally in love with ashley jensen next up is another uh great british show that i that i love uh and that is the prisoner the prisoner is a fantastic show patch mcgoon just one of those really great cool cult shows little mix of uh action, a little bit of sci-fi fantasy in there, just some very different stuff, some unique concepts, really, really enjoyed the series, just a fantastic series, incredible. Next up is Little Britain. I love this show. Tom Baker narrates this. we got Anthony Stewart Head as the Prime Minister. Just such great characters. I find these two characters hilarious. I really do. I know it's one joke that keeps going on in different settings, but I don't care. It's funny. And I wanted to talk to this guy and ask him, why did you make Dennis Waterman small? It, it, it's hilarious and all, but why is he such a tiny guy in those uh, in those skits? Does anybody know? Next up, I think I'm, at, I'm in my top five now. Yes, I am. And, top, and number five is one by a character, by an actor, that you probably wouldn't think of when you think of this character. And that is Rebus. If you've uh, read or seen the Ian Rankin's Re Rebus series, uh, you probably know the uh, actor of Ken Stout in the uh, role of Rebus because he's more known for the role and he's more widely accepted from people who read the books. However, I personally, and it's just my opinion, was a bigger fan of John Hanna as the character of Rebus. I know he doesn't look as much like the character as, in, as the books and stuff would be, but I just love this character that he plays. I don't care if his name's Rebus or not. It is amazing. And uh, such a tortured, cool character. I really enjoy this. And the stories this, and the acting was just incredible. Uh, by the way, there's so many British shows that I could put on this list that would be on this list if I had them, but I don't. Midsummer Murders would definitely be on this list. I don't have the show. Uh, 
There are so many great shows. I'm a huge British TV show fan. Next up, number three, is a classic. And it's a double one in a way. Coronation Street. Corey, of course, is known by its fans. Corey is a fantastic British uh, daytime soap. And it's one of the ones I, you just fall in love with it and you don't know quite know why. Because not a lot happens sometimes in the show. But when you when you're when it pays off and you see stuff like Tracy Barlow and Richard Hillman, it pays off big time. And as a follow up, as a kind of a point five on this one, Coronation Street Secrets, the documentary show about the series, where they like talk about like kind of documentaries about the characters within the show, like fictional documentaries, like uh, Richard Hillman exposed, Peter Barlow exposed, uh, uh, like villains, uh, just some great great stuff. Uh, I'm just a huge fan. I grew up with this. I'm mean, Canadian. Corey's huge over here. It's a huge show, and uh, we love it. I don't watch it as much as I used to. And, of course, they watch EastEnders, too, but I don't have any EastEnders on my, in my collection. There's EastEnders Uncovered, Revealed. I love that show. Uh, the Saint. Hands down, one of my favorite shows of all time. As you guys saw, if you watch my channel, I have the, both this color version and the monochrome version as well. I got both uh, the whole series of the Saint now. Really excited about that. Love this series. Fantastic show. Roger Moore at his absolute best, in my opinion. Even better than Bond is the Saint. Just really, really love Simon Templar. Just such a great, great character. Number two. The Avengers. Love the Avengers. Awesomely cool spy show. Very mod. As uh, House of Karloff's 1985 would say, groovy. It is just a really cool show. And by the way, if you haven't not subscribed to House of Karloff 1985, give me a link down below in the description box so you can just subscribe. Just saying. The Avengers. An MFPO series when Diana Riggs was on it was, you know, it's a great show nonetheless, but this is it at its absolute peak. Uh, it is a fantastic show. There are great guest stars in this. Uh, Diana Riggs is fantastic. She is gorgeous. And Emma Peel was named because they wanted an actress to go alongside the character of John Steed that had male appeal. Hence the name M. Appeal. M. Appeal. And Diana Rigg had male appeal in spades. And number one is going to be surprised to nobody once I got my iTunes card for uh, my birthday. The first thing I did was I went on, opened up my newsstand, clicked on to Doctor Who magazine, and I subscribed. And Because Doctor Who is my absolute favorite British show of all time. Um, there, I love Blake Seven. I didn't. I hated Blake Seven for years for taking over the Doctor Who's place on PBS. By the way, Doctor Who used to come on PBS Detroit, Michigan, and that's the feed that we got. And then Blake Seven took over the place of Doctor Who, and then did Red Dwarf for a while, I think. And I hated those shows. Those were both great shows, but I hated them because they took over the Doctor Who spot, and I no longer could watch Doctor Who. Thankfully, this is a, a time when almost all Doctor Who that's still available is now on DVD, and I'm trying to get them all. And I find that the uh, UK versions are usually the best to get and the least expensive. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, Lola's Basement, for uh, giving me a fantastic idea for this one here. Thank you, Michael, for uh, for the heads up on the sale. And uh, click down, check down below in the description box for House of Carlisle 1985. Great YouTubers. Got some great videos. There's a retro tie time section that you really got to check out. Some really cool stuff. And for me right now, this it took me four takes to do this video right. I still haven't got to have my caffeine, so right now it is literally time for tea.